Hi, I'm Chef Lonnie Varesco, the corporate chef at Performance Food Service. I'm thrilled today to have a good buddy of mine, Julio, our Italian expert at corporate, join me today. Thank you, Lonnie. Julio Benetti, Senior Director of Roma Brands. Uh, we have a uh, nice product here to talk about. Look, you always have amazing products whenever you come over, Julia, which is always fun. Today we're looking at Aroma. Looks like a extra heavy pizza sauce we're looking at today, huh? Extra heavy pizza sauce, nice yeah. yield, nice, uh, nice extra volume for, for the customer. Yeah, and I think, look, when we, one of the things we want to think about when we think of this pizza sauce, you'll hear different things. Like, think of a ready-to-use pizza sauce. This is really not that, right? Kind of like a make-from-scratch. So yeah. a customer would yeah. take this add his uh, customized seasoning, and add a little water. Right, and usually it's about two to one, right? Correct. Two, two things of water or stock, whatever that might be, to this can. I want you to look at this product. So if we look at it, it's got a lot of thickness in body. You want to think about if we took bushels of tomato and slowly cooked that product down or the water was evaporated out of it, we'd have this wonderful mass of just unbelievable tomato flavor, right? Which is what this puree is. It's It's... Like you said, it's evaporated product mm -hmm. to get to those nice tomato solids. Yeah. That's what we want to use here. And look, I'm going to take the spoon. I just want to drag this just like this through here. I'm going to leave it. And you can really see, right, the density of the product itself, which is a good thing in this case. It leaves this great little canal. Nothing's moving here. And when we cook that down, this is a California product, right? Correct. So that means that minerals in that soil, a lot of more sugar content. I noticed we don't have any citric acid in the product. We don't have to add any uh, citric acid to this product. Uh, the only thing we do add is a little bit of salt, and you see in the specs, you see a little bit of fresh basil in there. Yeah, and the salt's going to really bring out, salt's a seasoning, right? So it brings out natural flavors. And not having the citric acid means we'll have the naturally occurring acid in the tomato. So it's going to give, I guess, really that kind of a purity of taste to it. And when that chef at the pizzeria or at the restaurant themselves adds stock, adds water to this, the two-to-one ratio we talked about, they get a great yield out of the product. They're going to add other flavorings and seasonings that kind of make it their own signature sauce, right? That's what we want. We give them a nice, clean canvas. Yeah. base that they can do what they want. Well, I like that, right? A clean canvas, right? So part of that canvas, when you start with the foundation of one of our industry-leading brands like Roma, that blank canvas can become a great work of art in that restaurant, right? Correct. That make from scratch and let yeah. the customers design their own crafted sauce. Yeah, so I think, again, guys, another product different from ready to use, which we explained, right? Unbelievable flavor, no citric acid, California product, a little bit sweeter, naturally occurring acids that are in it because the citric acid's not added. But this is a product you could certainly bring to that creative chef, give them the foundation for the blank canvas Julia mentioned to create an amazing dish. You know, even though I've been cooking for 30 years, right? One of the cool things is when I hang out with somebody like Julia or any of the other great foodies at Performance Food Service, I get to learn something new. And you would tell me about this kind of combination that make this unbelievable sauce. We find that uh, a lot of customers like to mix a couple of products together. Yeah. So what I see a lot, and I've seen for many years, is they'll take a can of Roma pizza sauce, a can of Luigi ground, and a can of water, and bring those items together between the cleanliness and, and, and the fruit the no, the no citric acid added, and just that sweet product. And then the Luigi ground brings that little bit of chunk, yeah, texture, you know, a right? texture to it. Yeah. And customers like to see that fresh fruit. And then, of course, they, you know, reduce the cost because they're adding yeah. that can of water and then two items together. I, lo I love one of the things I noticed Julia constantly saying is fruit, right, when it comes to tomato, because it is, right? It's a fruit. It's a fruit. It's a fruit itself. I hope you all got a great secret. I did from Julio as well. That sauce sounds amazing, and that's something you should bring to your customers, some great ideas.